Here we're going to be talking about partridge feathers, how to prep them and how to use them. These are a feather commonly used in soft tackling nymphs and also using legs for nymphs. Uh, it can be a fairly tricky little feather to deal with. Uh, as you can see they're small, they're only about an inch or so long. And the first thing you want to do is prep the, the partridge feather and you do that by just peeling off all the fluffy feathers near the base of the feather. These feathers you don't really use much in uh, soft tackling flies. Uh, you definitely don't use them in legs. So we go ahead and just get rid of them and expose the, the stem. I like to keep that stem there. Uh, it gives me something to work with. Now there's a couple different ways you can uh, tie in a partridge feather. A lot of people like to tie them in uh, just like so. They'll actually take the feather and tie it in by the, the stem and then they'll take their hackle pliers and they'll clip into the, the tip here and uh, then wrap the feather. The problem with doing it that way is you only get the uh, larger feathers here, the nice long ones, and uh, also it's very difficult to clip into the tip and uh, you often break the tip. Uh, with larger flies, tying it in by the stem at the base there and wrapping it, it's just a, it's a fine way to do things. Uh, but what I like to do is I like to actually take my hackle pliers and uh, I'll actually clip into the tip of the feather with my hackle pliers, just like so. Then I'll wet my fingers, you can lick them, and then I'll peel back all those fibers that'll expose the tip. And you can see the nice fine uh, and shorter fibers are going to be the ones that are near the tip. Now if you're hackling, let's say, a really small fly and you don't want to use any of these longer uh, pieces, what you can do is you can strip away the pieces that you don't want uh, included in your fly here and just expose a few of the shorter fibers. And then you can basically tie in that feather by the tip. You can clip out the, the excess portion just like so. And then you can lock in with your hackle pliers of course just like so and then of course you can take your hackle pliers and spin the soft hackle or the partridge feather around the shanky hook and you can see why I left the stem exposed it gives me something long to work with a little bit easier to grab a little bit easier to control and uh, it's just much easier to keep the stem rather than clip it off and just throw it away it actually will help you tie a much better looking soft tackle if you leave the stem. Now the other way to prep a, prep a partridge feather is for legs. So again I'll take that partridge feather and I'll strip off all that under fur, all the downy stuff. And then for legs, you've seen this probably in some of my other videos, you can take your scissors and get in and trim the stem near the tip of the feather exposing a V and then however many legs you want, let's say I just want all oh, about half a dozen or ten or so, you can strip back more of the fibers just exposing the ones on the tip that you want. Then you can take your feather, put it on each side of the hook, squeeze them together, do a nice loose wrap, and then bite down and you know, that'll put legs on each side of the fly. I don't have a thorax built up here so it doesn't really work too good. You could build a thorax with a dubbing. It, it does best if you have a nice big dubbing ball here. I can try to do it here with just some thread. Build up a nice ball for a thorax. That'll give something for those legs to wedge up against. That probably won't do it, but we'll give it a try here. Uh, you can barely see it there, how I have some legs split to each side. Then the trick to removing the feather is you can either cut it or I'll hold down tight with my thread here and I'll just take that feather and I'll peel it peel it back up over itself and there you have your legs. Now choosing a partridge feather, you can buy partridge feathers in a couple different ways. You can buy them on a, a cape or a uh, large skin here which is how I prefer to buy them. You get the uh, nice wing pads and the back portion of the bird 
or you can buy it strong in packages where uh, it's just loose. Unfortunately, in those loose packages, you're not going to get a lot of the nice clean feathers that you want. The feathers that you want uh, are usually on the wing pad here. You can see they are nice and fine. They have nice straight tips. Pluck one off here. You can see the how the tips are nice and straight, nice and fine. Uh, so it usually helps to buy good partridge. Uh, I just use a number two grade uh, skin. It's much better than the stuff you can get in the packages. Uh, they do make a number one grade that's a little bit more expensive, a little better. Uh, but it definitely helps to buy good partridge on a skin, uh, buy the whole thing. It'll last you a long time. I've had this one already for a few years and I still have plenty of feathers left. And that'll save you a lot of time and frustration just buying good partridge. Uh, if you buy uh, stuff in the bag, which we do sell for three, four dollars, uh, you're going to have to weed through a lot of it to find a good feather. And even the real good feathers aren't, uh, aren't going to be as good as the ones you get on the skin. And that's tricks to using the partridge feather. Uh, there's a lot of different things you can do with the partridge feather. It's a very common material used in fly tying. Uh, it's been used uh, even back to the days of tying partridge and oranges and soft tackles. Uh, it's still used today. And you can buy them at, in the riffle.